Now we're going to test our GNU C++ compiler, or just C compiler. It's pretty simple, but I want to show you something interesting in Linux about the CPP and what it's called. Let's switch over to our Linux, and as you can see, we have our term session running. That's all we really need. If you get your system started up and you're used to just a clean desktop, maybe some icons out there, you may not use the uh, the terminal very much. Well, the terminal is right up here, and in uh, the other operating system, uh, the other big one, Windows, that's called a, a DOS prompt, or the old disk operating system command prompt. Well, here it's a term session, or terminal, and you saw the word terminal pop up there probably at the top, and that uh, gives us control over the system. It gives us a command line processor that we want to be able to use uh, to keep the IDE and all the graphics and all that out of our way uh, while we're learning the language. So now that we're here, we've gone through all the updating, the CPP, the package manager, the RPM, whatever it is your particular uh, flavor of Linux requires, and we believe that there's a compiler running, or available, I shouldn't say running. Let's uh, now make it run. GCC is the compiler that we installed. And we'll put a space, a dash, and a V for version. We want to learn the version that this compiler is going to run, just to kind of make sure it's out there. Well, there it is. There's the i486 Linux GNU and a lot of configuration information that we don't really care about right now. But there's our GCC version 403. And it's on the operating system, uh, Ubuntu 403, as you can see that, so on. Well, GCC the GNU C compiler, that, that's one word that can be used to start this thing. There's also G++ space dash V. Gives us exactly the same information because it's pointing to exactly the same program. Uh, this uh, G++ G++ is just a different way of asking for the C++, the GNU C++ compiler to run. What you'll find in the ANSI C book, the uh, K&R that we're going to use, is they call it CC, the C compiler, because that's uh, what it was originally called when it was written for Unix. If we do a CC space dash V for version, exactly the same information, because they understand that a lot of older commands use CC for the C compiler. So they get that CC pointed or linked over to the, the new compiler that we just installed so that everything runs properly. Just wanted you to know that, that if you want to use the uh, CC command that we're going to see in the book, that's uh, quite all right, and it will work just fine. Okay, we've tested our C compiler under Linux, and we're going to move onward.